Hello everyone. There is a new version of Butterflight and a new version of the iMuff code from Helio Spring for my Helio flight controller and I wanted to give it a try and show you all how I installed it and how I upgraded my quad from the uh, previous release which was Odin to this new release which I believe is called Starbuck. So the first thing I wanted to do is connect the USB port on my flight controller connect it to Butterflight, and I want to back up my configuration. So I'm going to go into the CLI, and I'm going to type diff, generate a difference between the default settings and my settings, and I'm going to copy this. I'm just going to stick it into a note a notepad over here. And just because I like extra backups, I'm also going to do a dump command, which will give me all of the settings from the flight controller. And where did that start? There's dump. Also going to stick that into the notes. Make sure that gets saved. Okay, then I'm going to go to the flyhelio.slack.com. This is Helio Springs Slack channel, where I see that there's a Starbuck release channel here. And I'm going to check out the pinned items. And there's a recently pinned steps to install the latest Butterfly firmware.txt. That should have all the information I need to know. So first of all, you need to download and install this configurator. Mac, so I would want this. Um, this is Configurator 10.4.3, which is already what I have and I've been using for a while now. So then I need to download and install this hex.zip file. Okay, now that I've got that file downloaded, I need to download and run the separate IMUF update tool. Alright, I want to download this file. Save it on the computer, save it here. I should put all this stuff into a new folder. Well, that's not how you spell Starbuck. Let's see. CK. Right, I don't want to stick these two files into the Helio Starbuck folder. And I probably want to unzip these. Okay, so now that I've got what I need downloaded, I want to install the firmware with a full chip erase. Right, I'm going to go to Butterflight and I'm disconnect. I'm going to go to Firmware Flasher. It's got my Helio Spring, I've got full chip erase selected. I want to load local firmware. And I want to go to that Helio folder I just created. Pick the Helio Spring hex file. Open it. Tell it to flash. All right, it says programming successful. Let's connect and see what we've got. I'm going to go into the CLI and type version. Butterfly 353, September 8th, 2018. That looks pretty new. All right, let's go back to those instructions. Now that we've got that installed, we need to download and run the IMUF update tool. All right, go back here, IMUF update. So we can also see 
in my Butterfly Configurator, IMUF is version 108, which I believe is the old Odin version. Ah, this is from an unidentified developer. Okay, so I need to go into my system preferences and let's launch the privacy and security and say yes, I want to open that anyway. Yes, let's open. Okay, so let's run this IMUF update program and see what happens. It's connecting to my flight controller and I want to update with Starbuck. So I'm going to type number three, hit enter, Starbuck Alpha, and it's updating. Send successful flashing. I assume I just wait here. Oh, now it's successful. You may close this window. All right. So let's go back to Butterflight, connect, go to my CLI, and type version. Now I see the IMUF version is 110. So we've got it all updated. Now what I probably need to do is go and restore my configuration. So let's go into my, my diff here. And I want to set my name and my motor resources and my mixes, my features, LEDs, mode, aux ports. Set it because I've got my board flipped upside down, an iBus, D shot. It all looks normal, my rates. Nope, I want to copy all of that. I want to paste it into the CLI, hit enter. Hopefully there's no errors. Type save. Save and reboot. Wait for it to come back. Once it's back, hit connect. Oop, connected a little too soon. Connect again. Hey, it's right side up. I wiggle it around. Everything looks normal. Ports are back to the way I want them. Configuration. Configuration looks good. And I'd suggest going through all of these different uh, tabs here and just make sure that everything looks the way you want it to be. Let's check these notes again. Yeah, I didn't copy my previous filter config, only rates. So I don't use 3232 without using multi-shot, but I'm, I'm using 1616 right now. And I have already changed my BL Heli frequency to 48 kilohertz before. Go fly and have fun. All right, well, that's all there is to it. Uh, if you have any other questions or issues, you should probably take a quick look at what's down in these notes and they seem to be updating these all the time and there's a lot of good stuff in here if you've got problems so I'd suggest checking that out if not have fun get out and fly